Hello gorgeous! Today I want to show you how to add a little splash of color to your beautiful homemade DIY skincare. I will start off by making a very basic body butter using mango butter and apricot oil and adding mica or even eyeshadow to add some tint and color to your final product. For those of you who do not wish to use mica, I want to show you how you can use natural oils and butters that already have a very nice hue, a very nice shade that will affect the color of your final product. Starting off with the base recipe for the body butter, we are using six ounces of apricot oil and four ounces of mango butter melt them over a double boiler at low heat until the butter is melted and then put it in the fridge for about two hours or until it's mostly solid and it looks like that you want a little bit of liquid left and scrape down the sides stir it up and then you will add your mica i'm obsessed with pink so I always reach for pink but there's other colors and tints you can use I also love uh, a little bit of shimmer, so that's what I'm adding here. I have a silver shimmer, I have a gold shimmer. You stir it in before you use your whip. I'm adding a little bit of eyeshadow. As you can see, the consistency is very similar to mica. And then you whip. You start whipping. Now this ratio that I've used is a little heavier on oil so it's a bit more liquid it took a minute longer to whip but one trick that i've used that you can use is by uh, creating an ice bath just put some ice in a bowl put your bowl in it and start whipping do you see how quickly it hardened up and there you go that's the consistency i like it's nice and creamy and pink so then, of course, you scoop it into your final containers and you let it set overnight and it will be a little bit more dense or harder and firm the day after. But with this ratio, it will stay nice and soft. Here is the other batch I made using four ounces of mango butter, six ounces of apricot oil. But I have added, instead of mica, I have added some rosy oil and some cocoa butter to give this body butter a more off-white goldish tint in a very natural way without using any mica. The process is the same. You melt your ingredients gently over a double boiler, put them in the fridge until they're mostly solid, and then you stir and whip. You know how to do this. And here it is. It's ready, it's whipped, it's super creamy. I love this. I cannot wait to put this all over my legs. And we're done. I hope you found this useful. Leave comments or questions you have below the video. And as always, happy DIY.